from last december did you feel that there's some area of your life which you were confused but you got some clarity so there was some confusion in september last year but as the months went ahead september october november december there's a lot of clarity which you got in certain area of your life and towards the month of january when january kicked in the new year kicked in you tried your best to make the necessary changes and during the month of january you were very optimistic about those changes <laughs> and yet you achieved success to some extent and yet there are many other things which you need to do in that area which you know deep down inside but you are waiting for the right time to start it well uh, they say the best time is uh, now <laughs> so now is the time that you will implement those plans which you have all right so today we will discuss on the transit of venus which will happen from 16th of this month april to near about 10th or 11th of may it's going to be a very important transit because venus will enter the sign of its exaltation pisces and venus was in the sign of its mul trikon in libra for <coughs> for four months almost last year from september october november and december so that's what i mean to say here and in the month of january it was in scorpio conjunct with jupiter and yes if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then uh, you could subscribe to it down and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know how will be this transit of venus in exaltation in pisces okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes uh sun has also transited into aries i mean it will transit into aries so the mesha sankranti begins and today is also ram navmi in india so wish you a very very happy ram navmi festival and that's it the vedic new year begins all right so let's discuss about venus so i made a video on venus transit into dhanishtha nakshatra in which i said that there will be some kind of celebration in your life regarding the areas which venus is ruling in your chart so venus rules the sign taurus number 2 and number 7 libra so wherever 2 and 7 is falling in whichever house those are the houses which venus will show its effects during transit now of course without a doubt we all know that whatever happens in your life is not because of any transit it is because of the dasha all right so whatever uh, we discuss today will be modified will be dependent on your dasha to what extent what is getting fulfilled so what dhanishtha nakshatra represents dhanishtha nakshatra represents the celebration the victory or the enjoyment that you do after you finally get something that you want and after that what happens which nakshatra comes after dhanishtha nakshatra well the nakshatra of shatabhisha comes what is shatabhisha nakshatra basically they say it's uh, 100 physicians right well uh, it's good to know the terminology but what do we make out of this 100 physicians so shatabhisha nakshatra basically represents the desires which is not fulfilled inside you dhanishtha tells you that okay see you have this great celebration you are victorious but then chatabisha says well i think there's something more to life in the materialistic realm of course i am not talking of spirituality here and then when venus entered dhanishtha nakshatra chatabisha uh, nakshatra you would have felt that there is something more which you want there is something which you got but you were not satisfied satavisha nakshatra has this trait that you could lack satisfaction sometimes not because that you do not have something but because you have something but you still want something more so that that's the place where the healing comes about 
So that is why they say that Shatabisha can have problems with drinking or addiction or uh, things like pornography or prostitution. Why? Because when we feel empty inside, these are the refu these are the places where we go to seek refuge in. Yes, and that makes us more empty inside rather than uh, focusing towards God and spirituality. So during Shatabisha, what happens is we get a feeling that there are unsatisfied desires inside us and as you know this uh, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that lust is like fire the more you put butter or oil or ghee into it the more it burns so when Venus transited Chatavisha you would have felt that there's something better which is waiting for me and depending on your dasha you you would have realized that it was fulfilled or it was not fulfilled then what happens is now Venus is in the nakshatra of Purva Bhadrapada. Now, Purva Bhadrapada, they say, is a very difficult nakshatra. That's the connotation which they use in YouTube or in uh, online forums. But the question is, why? Is it so? And if yes, then why? Well, it's not exactly a difficult nakshatra. See, what happens in Purva Bhadrapada is, in Shatavisha, you realize that there are more desires then see dhanishtha is in the final you know all aquarius is like the final sign before pisces is the 11th sign so dhanishtha represents the celebrations which you do when you finally achieve that which you always wanted but imagine after achieving something which you always wanted even then you feel that there is some emptiness inside then what to do that's what chatabisha is now uh, Purva Bhadrapada tells you that okay there were some desires which you had and you fulfilled and there are some more desires which you have which you are not able to fulfill or rather you fulfilled all your desires but still there is an emptiness inside you why that is happening why 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 Purva Bhadrapada asks that question in Chattavisha, what happens, you keep going in that circle, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, like this. There is no answer to that in Chattavisha. But in Purva Bhadrapada, you try to find a deeper answer. Because they say that when the ocean is you know, going up and down, it's very disturbed, then the impurities also keep going up and down with the ocean. But when the ocean is calm, very silent, then you will see in the shore, you know, all the dirty things come out in the ocean. So that that's what happens in Purva Bhadrapada, that all your desires which were not fulfilled during Dhanishtha and Chatavisha, you can clearly see them at the surface and that is why you get frustrated. Oh my God, this desire is still there and I tried my best, it was not fulfilled. And then Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra comes. In Uttara Bhadrapada what happens is you sit down and you start thinking what the hell is going on? <laughs> I fought a battle in Purva Shada then I won it in Uttara Shada and then I celebrated in Dhanishta. And then I thought there is something more to life in Chattavisha and Purva Bhadrapada said that but still you see that thing is not getting fulfilled. So, in Uttar Bhadrapada, when Venus transits within the sign of Pisces, you will realize that there is much more to life than just that small little victory. You, when Venus was in Libra, you must have thought regarding the houses which Venus rules in your chart, you must have thought that just if I get this in my life, that's the end of it. I do not need anything else ever, ever, ever to be happy. But no, it's not like that. When Venus enters Uttar Bhadrapada, you will realize that I got what I wanted and there were some unfulfilled desires. Maybe I also fulfilled some of those desires which I thought I could never fulfill, depending on your dasha, of course. But then you start, uh, you, you sit and you think that, all right, so today I want this, tomorrow I want that. And after six months, maybe I want something else. So how long will I keep wanting something? And how long will I put uh, the key to my happiness in external activities, in external achievements in life? 
Yes, some people say, oh, I want to get married, I want this job, I want that business, I want this promotion. So that's perfectly fine. But we need to enjoy life as the journey, not only the destinations. So Uttar Bhadarpada tells you that there has to be something which is very deep down inside because we know uh, Ahir Budanya is the one who represents, he's the deep sea serpent, all right, uh, Uttar Bhadarpada Nakshatra. So you will be forced to dig deep down inside you that all these desires that you had were fulfilled to a large extent. But why are you still unhappy? Why is that feeling of emptiness still there inside you? Is there something which you thought will make you happy but at the end it did not make you happy? What's the answer to all these questions? So that is what you will figure out when Venus transits uh, Uttar Bhadrapada very soon. And after that, you will realize when Venus transits into the final nakshatra of the zodiac, Revati nakshatra, which is in the last degrees of Pisces, you will realize that this is the game which I have been playing from tens and hundreds and thousands and millions and billions and trillions of lifetimes. Today I want this, tomorrow I want that. That's what happens. When you were in your ninth standard, at least in India this happens. When I was in my ninth standard, people used to tell me that just pass your tenth standard. Everything will be fine. You don't need to do anything in life. Life's going to be great after tenth. Then when you pass tenth, then people say that, okay, you know, you just have to pass your twelfth. Then after twelfth, you just need to do engineering or medical science then after you come to third year in uh, engineering yes the only reason you are unhappy why because you don't have that job you know placements interviews are there so you get a job then they will say oh you must get a master's degree these days you know that is why you are not happy you know happiness will come when you get a master's degree some say you should go abroad for the degree some say you should you know, better do it somewhere in india in some iit or some iim Yes, XYZ college. <laughs> so that's what happens when Venus transits into Revati, you will realize that the material world is making a fool out of you again and again and again. You are playing that same game. You are thinking that you are winning every time, but actually you are running in the same place. Have you seen a person running in the treadmill? He doesn't go anywhere, but he's still running. He's putting all his energy, but he's still at the same place. Although he may lose some weight or his physique may improve, but he's still at the same place. So when Venus transits into Revati, you will realize that from last eight months, I thought I was running very fast. But then you will realize that I was actually not going anywhere. All right. And that's the time when you will think that I need a guru. I need a direction in my life where to go because as we know Revati Nakshatra you know that is the shepherd who takes you, you know, the sheep to a particular place you will need a direction in life all right and when you get that direction the, of course that will depend on the dasha which dasha you are running where that planet is how Venus is in your natal birth chart and what planets are in Pisces of course so when Venus finally transits into Revati you will realize that this game needs to stop somewhere. I have to start enjoying the journey of life rather than the destinations and the milestones because ultimately every milestone in life, either it's marriage or promotion or a degree or your job or a thousand subscribers in YouTube, is just another part of the journey. So if I cannot enjoy the journey, very soon I will stop enjoying the milestones also. And that's what happens to people. They say in their 30s or 40s or, you know, especially in their mid 30s, mid 40s, they undergo something called as a midlife crisis. Why this happens? Because till the time they were 35 or 40, 45, they were focusing only on the milestones. Okay, by 30, I will get married. By 40, I'll have my own house. By 50, I will get uh, become the CEO of a company. But then after that, what? Yes, that's what life is. So, Revati Nakshatra has this beautiful lesson that you must search for a guru and then he will give you a direction in your life where you should go. Alright, so that is what I wanted to say regarding uh, the transit of Venus 
in these three nakshatras and if you're new then please subscribe to it summer down and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about venus transit into pisces and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes i forgot to say if you want a reading from me regarding this transit then you could go to my website down in the description section okay wish you all the best bye bye